Time is of the essence when you take the GRE. Your goal is to answer as many questions as you can in the time allotted and answer them correctly. To get through the quantitative reasoning questions quickly, you want to use mental math to solve common operations. One test prep strategy you can use to strengthen those mental math skills is to pay attention to the numbers in your life and practice working with them. For example, a shopping trip is full of opportunities to practice math skills. As you add items to your basket, practice adding prices to keep a tab of your total. Maybe you're buying two boxes of blueberries at $2 per box, a loaf of bread for $1.50, and a jar of peanut butter for $3.50. So we've got $2 plus $2 plus $1.50 plus $3.50. Your total bill will be $9. Approximation is often enough to get the right answer to a math problem. Just check your approximation against the answer choices. Let's bring back that grocery store scenario. Let's say that instead of costing $3.50, the peanut butter costs $3.96. Adding $3.96 onto your bill would be difficult, but rounding that price to $4 makes it easy and gets you very close to the exact total. Percentages show up all over the place, both on the GRE and in real life, because no matter the size of a set of data or the type of data it includes, by using percentages, you can compare that set of data to any other. Something you wanted forever is finally marked down? Great, try calculating its new price. Percentages are daunting to a lot of us, but avoiding them is not the way to go. Let's take a look at how such a question may show up on the test. Make sure you read the question thoroughly and locate all the details you need to know to get ready to solve. Two stores normally sell the same book for the marked price of $30. The book is discounted at both stores right now. At the first store, Jan's Pages, the book is marked down by $15. The second store, Sheaves of Wisdom, is running a special, 30% off all books. Which store is selling the book for less? Let's solve. Since we've been practicing with numbers and prices, we see right away that Jan's Pages is selling the book for half its normal price. $15 is half of $30. And we've been practicing percentages, so we know that half price means the book is 50% off. We quickly realize that Sheaves of Wisdom has marked the book down by only 30%, while Jan's Pages has marked the book down by 50%. Jan's Pages offers the bigger discount and is selling the book for less. Notice we don't have to figure out the price of the book at Sheaves of Wisdom to answer the question. There are countless opportunities to hone your mental math skills. Running times and distances, measuring ingredients in the kitchen, the percentage of your time you spend prepping for the GRE, in the quantitative reasoning section of the test, saving time on simple calculations really adds up throughout the section. For example, if you save 20 seconds per question, you'll have over six minutes to use on difficult problems down the line. Look for calculations that are part of your daily life and use them to hone your skills.